Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. North Korea is preparing for war. To fight against whom? Uh, the United States of America. Not necessarily South Korea, because you know, you know who's who, what's what. Therefore, it's like you have a broken pipe in the basement. You don't just use squeegees and uh, towels and you know, take the water out. You go and turn off uh, the, I don't know, the water coming from the city or whatever you got it. And then you take care of the pipe and then you start uh, doing what you do best, sleep. Just kidding. But anyway, you go to the source. And the source here, here is not uh, South Korea. It is the United States of America. It is uh, Al Capone who brings uh, freedom and democracy around the globe. So let's look at two articles. One coming from Sputnik and the other one coming from uh, Reuters stating that, here it is, King Jong-un calls for stepping up war preparations over U.S. confrontation moves. So the woodchuck wants to fight the guys who he feels threaten him. The other one, Reuters, North Korea's Kim orders military to accelerate war preparations, state media. Ram pam pam here that this guy. North Korean North Korea leader Kim Jong Un has ordered slash uh, <coughs> Wood Chuck has ordered his country's military, munitions, industry, and nuclear weapons sector to accelerate war preparation to counter what he called unprecedented confrontation moves by the United States, United States state media said on Thursday. Speaking on the policy directions for the new year at a key meeting of the country's ruling party on Wednesday, King also said Pyongyang would expand strategic cooperation with, and I'm quoting, anti-imperialist independent countries, news agency KCNA reported. Like what? Iran, Cuba, Venezuela, Russia, China, Brazil, India, this is just a number of countries that seem to be independent and free and really sovereign. North Korea has been expanding ties with Russia, among others, as Washington accused Pyongyang of supplying military equipment to Moscow for use in its war with Ukraine, while Russia provides technical support to help the North advance its military capabilities. And I'm quoting, he, Kim, set forth the mili militant task for the People's Army and the munitions industry, nuclear weapons and civil defense sectors to further accelerate the war preparations, KCNA said. On Thursday, South Korean President Yoon suk Yo visited a frontline military unit in the eastern country, county of Yeonchon to inspect its defense posture and called for an immediate retaliation if there was any provocation from North Korea. Well, South Korea, you are under occupation. Uh, shush. I urge you to immediately and firmly crush the enemy, enemy's will for a provocation on the spot, Jung told troops. If you wouldn't have thousands of American troops on your territory, supposedly just uh, helping you because you're allied, uh, then I think a lot of things could um, be solved in the Korean Peninsula. That's what I think. I don't think Kim Jong-un is a uh, um, good guy or a bad guy. I think he's got both as all of us. It's just a proportion. So when you see the South Korean president coming and saying that, I would ask him, why don't you take your garbage out, which is uh, those uh, Al Capone out. No, he's not going to take the garbage out because probably that's the way he stays in power due to that guy. Otherwise, the Kim Jong-un will come and take over the entire peninsula. This is the story we're supposed to... Oop. Nevertheless, Remember, it was a time not long ago. It depends how you look at time. Obviously, it's relative to each other's age. And um, about, maybe it was about 10, 10 years ago when North Korea and South Korea really started communicating and they started having people traveling on the other side and visiting relatives and all that. That was fantastic. That was excellent. But what stopped? The United States, uh, I think, stuck its tail in all that and said, hey, you can't have that. These guys are losing a lot of money if you guys uh, become friends. 
So we can't have that. We have, we have to feed our donors and our masters. So anyway, let's go to the Sputnik article. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un has instructed the country's military to accelerate war preparations to counter extreme confrontation moves of the United States and its allies, no such thing, in the Korean Peninsula, North Korea State News Agency reported. All right, King met that. He said the same thing here. Uh oh, there she is. Now, if you think that uh, this guy right here is bad, this little woodchuck, I think, you know, the North Koreans know if he's bad or not. And then think about this lady, or I don't know if she's a lady, but she's a, a woman nevertheless. Now, I think she is possibly worse than possibly worse worse to deal with than Kim Jong-un I don't think she would shake hands with uh, Trump over the demarcation line the North Korean leader also clarified the party's independent principle to and again expand and develop their relations of strategic cooperation with the anti-imperialist independent countries and dynamically wage the anti-imperialist joint action and struggle on an international scale under the rapidly changing world geopolitical situation correct and indicated the orientation of the country's foreign policy politics towards the south the report read this is a strange picture but what can you do i look at his back of the head right here and uh when you're gonna hear the news sometime in the future think about this picture <laughs> back of the head Anyway, my friends, here it is. It says uh, the state media has earlier reported King Jong, King Yo Jong, a senior party official and sister of the country's leader, oh, King Jo King Yo Jong, sharply condemned the provocations of the United States and its allies in the Korean Peninsula, accusing them of threatening peace and stability in the region, and called on the United Nations Security Council and the international community to condemn these actions. Well. <laughs> You see, if you really want to uh, witness and learn about how um, justice works and a rule-based, uh, whatever that is, uh, world order, just look at the United Nations Security Council vetoes or votes. And it's obvious that uh, it's interest more than justice and what's right. Look at the last uh, vetoes, U.S.'s vetoes, and not only U.S., but U.S. is just uh, too obvious, too obvious to see that it's on one side of the, you know, the aisle together with some really, really, not even his or, I'm talking about Al Capone, his uh, regular vassal states. He's got some, I don't even know, those are little territories owned by some gangsters that receive some aid from us. I don't know, like Palau and... Uh, things like this i know it was papua new guinea and it was even austria i don't know what's going on with austria but uh, why because sometimes he's on this side sometimes on this side and think jesus christ what's wrong with you do you have any guilt or something <laughs> i don't know i, don't know, I can't say so here it is a uh, king jong un prepares for war do you think he's gonna do it i think he's gonna do it 10 times 10 times faster than putin would do it and probably five times faster than um, Xi Jinping will do it. So it's Kim Jong Un. No, it's uh, Kim Jong Jong, whatever her name is. That woman would do it uh, fifty times faster than anyone else. <laughs> the next in line would be, I think, uh, his uh, her brother, the Butchak, would do it. And then the next one would be, I think, China. And the next one is going ah uh, well. I should start over. Let's include the United States of America and Israel in that. <laughs> I think uh, it would be Kim Jong Jong, whatever her name is, that uh, the Woodchuck sister would be there on the top. The second, the second one would be, I think, Israel. The third one, oh, wait, they don't have nuclear weapons. Oh my bad. And then the third one is going to be the United States of America. And the United States of America could be neck in neck if needed. They will not even blink to drop it on nuclear weapons on anyone they feel uh, uh, to protect us. That's how I see it. They already dropped two. So 
when they say uh, Putin is going to attack uh, the uh, Europe and the United States of America because once you start one time, you do the next and so on, uh, then what should we expect from Al Capone? <laughs> it's in, it, in, it bombed uh, Yugoslavia, then went to uh, Iraq, then Afghanistan, then Libya, then Syria, then now Iran, then um, what? Um, Taipei with its uh, whatever. Uh, it's all, all and wood, the woodchuck. So if you go by the same logic, the United States is way ahead of everybody else. And if you go, hey, if he committed a crime once, he's going to commit again. Well, we got one who committed a crime twice. So that means it's much easier to do it a third time. You know, like people who do a kind of other hanky-panky. Do it once, makes it easy, easier for the second time. The third one is like second nature. Yeah, so that's the way I see things. What can you do? Mm. Stay strong, stay smart. Look for the truth and be just.